What's going on guys? My name's Caleb Strackengast. This is Buffalo Creek Outdoors. Gonna continue on with the turkey series. Gonna get into my complete turkey kit, what's in my pack, because I'm not running a vest as of right now this year. Uh, and what's in my binocular harness and kind of how I have this thing set up where everything I need is contained right here in this little system. So let's jump on into it. First morning, first morning. Bam, baby! Woo! Yes, sir. If you've seen my video already this year, I kind of went into my full setup, uh, the gun that I'm going to be shooting this year and the shells that I'm going to be shooting this year. Uh, but if you didn't see that video, this is the new Benelli M2, the 2023 model. Um, and then I'm going to be running the uh, Apex number nines. And on the front of the gun here, I have a GoPro mount zip tied to my barrel. I did pattern the gun with this zip tied here, so it does pattern uh, well with that setup. And then this is just a quick connect system with the GoPro mounts where I can just slide this. This isn't a GoPro, but it's a DJI Osmo Action. Uh, and the reason I'm running this and not my GoPro is this does not have a remote. So I want this on, knee, on or near me where I can go ahead and turn it on and off. But anyway, this is mounted to the front of the gun to get that action shot, that shot, the, the shot down the barrel. Uh, and that's what I got there. And then on top, I got the Burst Fast Fire 3. Uh, and I also have a video out there for the guys that are interested in how to mount this. I actually have a video of how to drill and tap the top of this gun and uh, get this thing set up that way. So I'm running three shells right here on this little pad. Uh, but those are the shells that are actually going to be in the gun while I'm hunting. I am running a plug in this gun. Let's get that out of the way and go ahead and jump on into the pack. Well, let's jump on into binocular harness first. So the way I have this thing set up, this is a marsupial gear, uh, fully enclosed bino harness. The way I have this set up is everything that I actually need to hunt is in this. So I'll have my license in here my calls, uh, pretty much the essentials are all gonna be in this pack. So first off, I've got a Woodhaven. Um, this is just the THP Crystal, uh, just because I like those guys, I like to support those guys. Uh, the THP Crystal and one Striker. And then I've just got a set of eight power Vortex Diamondback binoculars. Uh, they're cheap, but they're small and they're lightweight, and that's what I like. The reason I'm running my call in here, like I said, I'm trying to run this pack. If I need to run a minimum system, this is going to have everything I need. So I got my uh, friction call there. Uh, in the back here, in this little mesh pocket, I'll have my license and a pen. And then in the front here, I'm running a card reader and a uh, this is just a shower cap. That's how I cover my camera up if it starts to rain. And then I also have a lens cloth. On the right side of the bino harness, I've got a loophole uh, RX Full Draw 5 rangefinder. And I run some uh, mouth reads on the right hand side of this pack. These are the mouth reads that I like, the, my favorites. Those are going to be running on the right hand side. Left hand side, oh I'm sorry, last thing, GoPro remote, I run it on the right hand side as well. Left hand side, I've got an owl call or a crow call based on the time of day that I'm hunting and where I'm at, but more than likely it'll be an owl call for the most part. And then in the little pouch here on the side, I've got a compass and I will be running some essential stuff in here. I'll have an extra shotgun shell just in case I forget mine or I need one. I'll have some Scotch-Brite and sandpaper for my calls. I'll have a couple of dude wipes, never leave home without those. And then I will have an extra rangefinder battery. And I don't currently have my knife in here, but I have a little multi-tool type knife from Gerber that I run in there. So that's everything that I need. That. My cameras and my shotgun are all that I actually need. And if I have to just get out of the truck real quick and go, this will be what I've got. 
So let's move that out of the way. Uh, a couple of things right here before I jump into the pack. This is gonna be my cloud, cloud burst system from Sitka, pants and jacket, and then a beanie. Those are three items that are kind of hit or miss whether they'll be in my pack or not. Uh, but those are something that I'll always have with me just in case we get a pop-up storm or it drops off cold. So this is the Sitka um, tool bucket. This will be the first year where I'm actually running a pack and not running a vest. The reason behind that is I'm carrying all this camera gear and having this pack will be a whole lot more comfortable carrying this stuff for a long period of time than a vest is and it's easier for me to get to. I can just swing it off quick plop it down beside of me and start getting into the pack. So on the outside of the pack, I'll be running a thermosail with a couple extra wafers and a couple extra canisters or fuel canisters. I'll run that on the right hand side of the pack, or I'm sorry, the left hand side of the pack. And we'll kind of get into why I have these things set up the way I do when I start talking about camera gear. In the top of the pack, I'll have my Sitka Equinox Guard gloves. I'll have um, my camera cover. This is just a mesh screen, like a, one of the camo mesh um, sheets that I've kind of cut up into a camera cover. And then this is just my Peaks headlamp. Uh, it's the Backcountry Duo. Nothing special. Uh, you don't definitely don't need this exact gear. This is just a system that I'm running myself. Uh, lastly, on the outside of the pack, uh, I, in the top, I will have some camera gear. It's just like a little quick bag that I'll throw in there with extra batteries, just whatever little necessities that I have in there. If you guys want to know my exact turkey setup as far as filming my hunts, comment down below and let me know that you want to see that. And if I get enough traction, I will definitely get that video out there of my full system. Lastly, of what I've got in here right now on the outside of my pack, here on the bottom is my camo netting. Sorry, let me adjust this stupid thing. My microphone's getting on my nerves. Lastly, on this pack is my camo netting for my camera and my tripod. And the way I've got this cut, it actually covers my camera, my tripod, and myself. Um, and I just have that on the bottom so I can quickly get to it and get ready to go. If I get a turkey or whatever coming in and I want to sit down quick, I can just drop my bag down, throw this netting over the tripod and I'm good to go. That's really all I've got on the outside. Uh, you can run your bow or your gun on the outside. What I'll probably use these outside straps for is a decoy. I'll probably just strap my decoy to the back. One cool thing and one thing I'll definitely recommend you use if you're on public is an orange vest this pack has the or it's an orange cover this pack already has in it and it'll you can throw that over your decoy so that you don't get shot which does seem to happen quite often during the turkey season and i think it's because you're in full camo you're rustling through the woods and people just don't take the time to be careful all right so inside the pack here in the top lid i will have uh, some lens covers for my GoPro, my Osmo Action, and my drone, and then I'll have a couple uh, cables for charging. I'll also have a 10,000 milliamp battery pack that I carry with me every day for cell phone emergencies, cameras, emergencies, microphone emergencies, whatever it is, anything I need to charge, I'll do off that little 10,000 milliamp battery pack, which I don't have down here right now. I have some face paint. And the reason I have the face paint in there is because when I'm hunting with my bow, I can't run a face mask because uh, it messes with the way I anchor. Um, so I'll run some face paint for those situations. And then I'll have some extra dew wipes and two more or three more. I don't remember what I have in here. Two more shells. So t in total, I'll have six shells on me, three in the gun, one in my binocular harness and two in my pack just in case. I run those in the lid so they're easy to get to. Once we unzip the bag and open it up, I have an extra, or I have a friction call, it's a slate call, an extra striker, some extra reeds, an extra set of gloves, a crow call, and an extra mask. The extra mask and the gloves are just in case I forget mine or if whoever I'm hunting with needs, needs one or needs some. Uh, and that's just in this little front pocket here. You open it up, it's easy to get to, quick access. I can lay my pack down and get to it extremely fast. This is another item that may or may not be in the pack, but this is my uh, Sitka um, 
ambient jacket. It's super light and in most cases it's chilly in the mornings, I'll throw this on. And then if it warms up or whatever, it's so light, I can just stick it in my pack. Uh, inside the pack, I have a set of leather gloves. I never go in the woods without my leather gloves because here in North Carolina, we have briars and they suck to get in your fingers and your hands. If you're pushing through stuff, throw you some leather gloves on and you're good to go. And then a set of fingerless wool gloves. Uh, these are just black Ovis fingerless wool gloves. I have those in there for those chilly mornings. This is a Quaker boy, uh, gobble call. I have had pretty good luck in the past. If I got a bird that's hung up, I'll hit this shot. I'll just kind of get this shot gobble going. And I have had it steer birds or pull birds in, get them fired up. Another thing that I have in the side is the, my little emergency kit. Uh, I've messed up before and needed Benadryl and needed Excedra migraine, whatever it may be. I've just got some stuff in there. Instead of centralizing or making my emergency kit smaller, I'm just running the same emergency kit that I run during backcountry whitetail and elk hunting. Uh, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, and I've got anything in there I need to start fires, heal or fix cuts, whatever it is. I got a bunch of stuff in there, fix my bow, stuff like that. Another thing that I have in the pack for camera gear is my GoPro clip. Uh, you never know when you need to just clip off to something. This is another thing that's kind of new. I'm just running an old Lone Wolf seat cushion. It's super small. I can just stick it in my pack. I'll either be running this or I'll run like a little gobbler chair uh, if I end up going a uh, little bit heavier, a little bit more comfort for the full day. I'll run that gobbler chair. I wanted something small and lightweight, not something real big and bulky. So I just grabbed this little seat cushion. I think it'll work fine. Uh, I'll have a pack cover in here for those days that when it rains, I can throw all my camera gear in my pack, cover it up. Also, I'll carry some flagging ribbon, which I know most people don't carry when they're turkey hunting, but I do just in case I want to mark some deer trails or whatever it may be, mark where I'm going to hunt the next morning. I'll have a little tote for if I kill a turkey. And then I've also got a tote to carry decoys. They don't weigh a whole lot. I just keep them in there. Never know when you're going to need something to carry something else around. And I just run those in the little side pockets in the bag. It keeps everything kind of organized and out of the way. And then here on the back of the pack, I'm running a little homemade decoy steak GoPro mount that I can run, put my GoPro on top of this and stick it outside of the decoys, kind of viewing back at us. And then I have a little cover to go over my GoPro and my steak if I end up sticking that thing out in the wide open. I'll carry two decoy stakes. These are just both the AVNX like little double stakes or whatever. I'll run those even if I'm not carrying decoys just because when I do carry a decoy, I already have everything in there. I don't need to look for stuff to try to pack in the bag. They don't weigh much, so it's worth keeping them. And then a, pair, a set of shears. That's what I'll, that's pretty much rounds it up for what I actually have in my pack. There's some other odds and ends stuff that may or may not make it in the pack uh, through the course of the season, but this is kind of the stuff that more times than not I will have in my pack. And then lastly, just my GoPro, this is a Hero 11, and then a little clamp mount. It's always nice turkey hunting to have some action cameras because sometimes, especially when I'm self-filming, I can't quite make the shot on camera, on my main camera. So anyways, guys, just a quick down and dirty of what I keep in my pack what I keep in my binocular harness and the things that I'll have on me this turkey season. So appreciate you watching. Good luck out there. Like I said, guys, if you end up wanting to see something else that I haven't talked about yet, comment down below. If you want to see my full camera setup for turkey hunting, comment down below. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to live your life to the fullest. Use your passions to bless others. We'll catch you on the next video.